Welcome back, everyone. So today's article is a little personal story yeah. by our uh, article writer, <laughs> by the author, yeah. and mm. they describe an experience. Uh, I guess they are American, so they've mm. recently visited home, picked mm. up a few products from Trader Joe's and maybe other places that they miss while they're here mm. in Korea, and they brought them back into Korea. But the sniffer dog. Uh, caught them and asked them, to, well, not the dog, <laughs> the, the, the dog <laughs> caught them and then the dog's yeah. handler asked yeah. them to open up their suitcase mm -hmm. and search through the products. Mm -hmm. And they focused on one particular bottle of seasoning, a Trader mm -hmm. Joe's seasoning, and uh, checked through the ingredients list and found mm -hmm. puppy seeds. Mm -hmm. And unbeknownst, I think, to the author at that point, you cannot bring puppy mm -hmm. seeds into Korea personally. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and yes, this particular seasoning, which was called Everything But The Bagel, mm -hmm. um, which apparently is very good on bagels, it does contain some mm -hmm. poppy seeds along with many other uh, mm -hmm. types of things in there. So um, I guess the uh, seasoning was confiscated, uh, maybe thrown away, maybe taken home. Thrown away in the stomach. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know a certain bin that might have gone in. I'm not yeah. accusing anyone, allegedly. I don't know, I'm just guessing. Um, and then, so yeah, he was a bit disappointed. He couldn't take his favorite seasoning mm. to put on his bagels and other mm -hmm. uh, products. Um, so yes, uh, it describes how the poppy mm. seed uh, has a minuscule mm. amount of opium in it. Um, it's nowhere near enough to get you high, not even if you sit there and eat handfuls and handfuls and handfuls mm -hmm. of them, but um, uh, Technically speaking, perhaps you could plant those poppy seeds and through crossbreeding mm. and careful um, gardening sure. <laughs> know-how and knowledge, you mm. could perhaps create your own mm. opium poppy plant. Uh, it wouldn't be as simple as just planting the seeds, but you know there mm. probably would be a process you could do mm. to make that and then potentially start making, producing, selling opium, which is a very powerful and, of course, illegal drug. Mm. So just in case they have decided to ban the poppy seed. And I have to be honest, even though I've been coming in and out of Korea for many, many years, I didn't actually know poppy seeds were banned. Yeah. I hope I've never accidentally brought in any poppy seeds. <laughs> Sorry if I have. Mm. It was never my intention. <laughs> um, I did know that some other things were banned on mm -hmm. import. I remember when they banned all dairy and meat products. That was maybe five or six years ago. Um, they got very strict on those things. You have to have a special license, I guess, to import those for commercial reasons. Mm. Um, so you've got to be careful uh, not to bring them in your suitcase, mm. which is sad for me because, you know, I'm a cheese lover. I used to bring oh. cheese with me back from yeah, the UK. Of course. And mm. now I can't do that. Mm. <laughs> very uh. sad. <sighs> so, mm. uh, so, yes, that was kind mm. of a little personal story, but also a wider warning for many people. Yeah. Uh, be careful with your poppy seeds. But also don't worry about eating poppy seeds um, mm -hmm. in Korea. I'm sure many products, uh, I've seen many products have mm -hmm. poppy seeds on. Uh, they're perfectly safe to eat. You won't get high. Um, but, you know, if you want to bring coffee beans in or out of Korea, that's perfectly fine. And you can get high by yeah. eating lots of coffee beans. I've done it. <laughs> <laughs> I love the ones covered in chocolate. Oh, yeah. Ooh, chocolate covered espresso beans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's mm -hmm. find out well, how John is going to relate to this article. Oh. So can you tell me, John, or tell us, um, when did you last pass through customs and did they search your bags? Mm -hmm. uh, well, not the last time I passed through, but there was a time where they did search my bags. Mm. I was coming back from America about five years ago and I brought back a lot of liquor. <laughs> I like whiskey and there's a certain whiskey that I wanted to bring back and I didn't want to just bring back one. I wanted to bring back two and I knew that was over the limit. So I was like, oh, I'll just pay some taxes on it because in Korea, that bottle is insanely expensive and in America, it's cheap. Mm -hmm. So I was like, no matter how much tax they actually put on this, it's not going to be above what it is in Korea. And I get one for free and one tax. So great. Mm -hmm. So I just go through there and the, the guy opens up the bag and I was like, oh, I have two bottles of liquor. Here they are. And he was like, you know that you're only allowed one. I was like, yes. And he's like, so he goes over to his computer, types in something, comes back. It's like, and you're okay paying the tax? Yep, I'm okay paying the tax. Walks back over, types in something, comes back. Have a good day. 
<gasps> lets me just go. He let you off the tax. So Aww. I was trying to think, why would they let me off on the tax? Hmm. And then I was thinking maybe because the bottles are so cheap because you have the receipt and everything to like mm. prove it. And probably the tax was like, for one, they might've been shocked that I actually was honest in bringing <laughs> it in. <laughs> Number two, it might've been just like, the tax might've been like 13 cents or something. You know ah, what I mean? And it's so the, they were like, ah, we, let's just get out of here. <laughs> like <laughs> we don't bother to do the paperwork. Yeah, like maybe if you're bringing 20 bottles in, there's mm -hmm. something, but you're literally one bottle over, just goodbye. Uh -huh. I think so. I was like, thank you, sir. Bye bye. Oh. And I drank them all. Not in a day, though, in a, in a few weeks. <laughs> yes. Oh, well, a nice story. Um, so, have you mm -hmm. ever had something confiscated? Even something like, you know, liquids used to be a big mm -hmm. deal. Have they ever taken oh, your water off you? Or? No, the worst that's happened to me was years and years ago, they were like, you can't bring that bottle of water in. And I was like, glug, 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 mm -hmm. and threw it away. Mm -hmm. And that was it. Nice. So, yeah, I've never had anything confiscated. Um, I do, though, remember leaving the, fr the first time I was doing an international flight away from uh, Korea, I took off my shoes because mm -hmm. that's what you do in America. So I took off my shoes and everybody in the line was like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, like that look of like, what is this guy doing? Mm -hmm. Like belt off, shoes off, everything like, duh, duh, duh. Mm -hmm. and they just pushed it through. But I could tell like, they were like, what? And then I realized no one around me had their shoes off. I was like, oh, I guess this is just a U.S. thing. Okay. I don't know if they still do it, but they used to when I was in the U.S. Well, I have heard, mm. yeah, that you guys yeah. have particularly strict security and customs and stuff. There was an underwear bomber. And at that point, people were wondering, are they going to make us take off our underwear too to scan or just put our whole body through the scanner? <laughs> X-ray every time yeah. you fly. Which they do now. They have those full body scanners, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Be careful as you go through security. Mm -hmm. But yes, um, maybe some security systems are mm -hmm. uh, tighter than others. So check the regulations before you fly. Um, but before you even consider the next mm -hmm. flight, it's time mm -hmm. to stock up on vocabulary. Mm -hmm. It's uh, free to check that through customs, no problem at all. Uh, check it into your brain. Mm -hmm. um, be careful, it might make you high on English. <laughs> uh, and come back and see us in the next one. Bye bye. Customs. Customs. Brevity. Brevity. Sniffer dog. Sniffer dog. Minuscule. Minuscule. Single out. Single out. <laughs>